In this class now, let's now discuss what we call your what your measurement. In our last class, we said that everything in physics is measured. That physics study the world around us with units and measurement. Now, if you understand that, we've talked about unit, let's now discuss what measurement. I'll start by telling you that everything in physics is what is measured. Everything in physics is what is measured. Now, take note that they are, we can group measurement into four parts. Number one, we have what we call measurement of length. Number two, we have what we call measurement of mass and weight. Number three, we have measurement of time. And number four, we have measurement of what? Forty. What I said. So, we can group measurements into four parts. These four parts will treat them in every lesson. Let's start with the first guy, measurement of what? Length. How is length measured? I'll start by telling you that there are three ways we can measure length. Are you with, with me? The first way to measure length is so to call using a word in meters. After that, we talk about what measurement with the word in linear calibre. After that, we talk about what measurement by what micrometer speed. How do we measure length? We can measure length with meter rule. We can measure length with the word with a linear calibre. We can measure length with a micrometer or screw gauge. Now, let's take them one after the other. Let's start with the first guy, which is what meter rule. Now, meter rule is simply a device that we use to measure short distance. So three things to know about meter rule. All of them in meter rule are going to talk length three things, linear caliper or length three things, micrometer street with length three things. What are the first three things we need to learn about meter rule? It is used to measure short length. When you want to measure short length of a place, you use your word meter rule. So what's meter rule used for? It is to measure what short length. Short length meter rule. You just enter anywhere, they say short length meter rule. The length can also be long too. Are you with me? But not extremely long. But the meter is to measure what short length. And number two, it has what we call the least possible error of what? Of one millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter. Please hold on. In millimeter, but in centimeter, it is one decimal place. Please, what the least possible error of a meter rule? One millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter. Now, what is now the reading accuracy? The reading accuracy of a meter rule is in millimeter, it is one. But in centimeter, it is two. So we said that the reading accuracy is 0 0.5 millimeter or 0 0.05 centimeter. In millimeter, one decimal, for a centimeter, two decimal. Now, let's prove this. Give me a meter rule. Now, you can see that this meter rule, we said that the least possible error of a meter rule is one meter, one millimeter, or 0 0.1 centimeter. Let's get, how did they get it? Now, you can observe that from here, let's see, from here to here, as from 0 to 1 is 1. From here to between here to here, the difference between 2 and 1 is 1. From here to, to this point, the difference is 1. 1. 1. So the difference between them is what? 1. Now, let's now count between each rule. Let's see. What are the bits? The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awake. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move. Let's get back to class. Enjoy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you seeing that? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can observe that. Let's say we. You can observe that from the difference between each of them. That means from year to year. In terms of these lines, are ten. But the difference between, that means each of them from year to year is 10 small lines. From year to year is 10 small lines. From year to year is 10 small lines. 10 small lines. Now, how do we get that? This now be equal to, between each of them, from 0 to 1, the difference is 1. We say from 0 to 1, the difference is 1. From 1 to 2 is 1. So, from all of them, from 4 to 5 is 1. 3 to 
4 to 3, 1, 3 to 2, 1. So 1 all over. What's the difference between their lines, each of the lines from here to here? We say they are 10, 10 small dot over 10. And it is in centimeter, right? So this now become what? If you divide this, you're going to get 0 0.1 centimeter. That is why we say that the least possible error of a meter rule is 0 0.1 centimeter. And if you convert this to meter, it, to millimeter, it, this is the same thing as saying 1 millimeter. Do you understand that? That is why we said, I've, I've proven to you how they got that the least possible error of a meter rule is what? Is 0 0.1 what centimeter or 1 millimeter. Now, if we now carry this 0 0.1, this 0 0.1, you have it as 0 0.1 in centimeter divided by 2. You're going to get 0 0.05 centimeter. And if you convert this to millimeter, this is the same thing. Millimeter, it is what? 0 0.5 millimeter. That is why we now say that the reading accuracy in millimeter is 0 0.5, but in centimeter, it is what? 0 0.05. Because even this one, if you divide it by 2 in millimeter, you're going to get 0 0.5 millimeter. But if you divide this in centimeter, you get 0 0.05 volts. Do you understand how we got the least possible error in a meter rule as well as a what? As a in a meter rule as well. So close your eyes. What are the three things about meter reduce measure short length? It has a leading accuracy of about 1 millimeter of 0 0.1 centimeter. But a reading accuracy of what 0 0.5 in millimeter and 0 0.05 in centimeter. Let's take a past question. The past question says Jam 1992 question 1. What is the least possible error in using a rule graduated in centimeter? What are they asking for? Least possible error. And what are they asking in? In millimeter and centimeter, they stated it clearly in what is centimeter. In centimeter, option A is 0 0.1, B is 0 0.5, C said about 1.0, C talk about what 2.0. Of course, we said that in millimeter, in centimeter, we said this 1 divided by 10, which is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter, right? But in millimeter, it is 1 word millimeter. That's for least possible error, making your option A to the congruent word, the answer 0 0.1 in what 10 centimeter. Let's take. Question, question 19, 1986, question 1. Which of the following represent the correct precision of the length of a piece of wire measured with a what meter rule? What, which of the following represent the correct precision of the length of a piece of wire which measures the what meter rule? That means they gave us length. They said a meter rule was used to measure it, which gives the word the precision. Talking about reading accuracy. Option A say 35 millimeter, B said 35.0 millimeter, C talk about 35.00 millimeter, D talk about what 35.01. Now the question is, what is the measurement they are giving us in what in millimeter? What's the reading accuracy for meter? Reading accuracy is 0 0.5 millimeter or 0 0.05 centimeter. In millimeter, in millimeter, how many decimal? In millimeter, one decimal. In centimeter, two. So, I'll come to the option. This one has no decimal, so it's out. This one has... Um, this is millimeter. It has two decimal, and it's supposed to be in one decimal, so it is out. This one, out, because it's in two decimeter. It is a two, two, uh, two uh, decimal place. But this guy is in one decimal place. Because we said that for a meter width, it is accuracy must be in one decimal place. Are you seeing that? So 0 0.5 millimeter, making option B to become the word the answer. How did I choose my answer? I know that reading accuracy for a meter rule in millimeter is 0 0.5 millimeter. But in centimeter, it is 0 0.05 cent. Please follow these instructions, making option B to become the word they add. Do you understand that? If you say you understand that, now what are now the precautions in measuring a meter rule? When measuring with a meter rule, it is necessary to look vertically downward. Why do you look vertically downward to avoid error due to parallax? Vertically word downward to avoid error due to parallax, to avoid error due to parallax. Now, give me a meter, this is a meter. How do I measure it now? 
it must be vertically downward. Now, is this vertically downward? If you do this, this is not vertically downward. This parallax arrow. Even if I measure like this, this is parallax arrow. How do I, which one is not parallax arrow? Vertically downward. Now, this is not parallax. This is the correct. Are you seeing that? So, if you want to, you are doing your experiments to avoid error of parallax, look vertically downward, not slantly, not horizontally. Because some of you, now, let's think. First question that answer that question. Jam 2012 question 2. The question says, in order to remove the error of parallax, when taking a measurement with a meter rule, the eye should be focused. Let's see. Option A says slantly towards the markings. Slantly towards the left. B said that slantly towards the right of the markings. Is this slantly? C said vertically downwards on the marking. C said vertically upward. Of course, to avoid the error of parallax, you have to look vertically downward, making option C to become the word they ask. Do you understand that? If you say you understand that, we are first of all done under measurement. We have done, we are in measurement of length. Under measurement of length, we are saying we said there are three instruments meter rule, vernier caliper, micrometer speed. We are only treated meter rule. In our next class, we'll talk about your vernier caliper. I'll see you in that class. Peace out. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the LearnLift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.